what is going on youtube today i have for you my first ever hogwarts legacy starter save it's called the starter six reason being it's a save modded after six hours of progress now we will be releasing other starters as time progresses this save will require our nominal fee of one dollar plus taxes all links will be in the description i'm gonna run through the save content then quickly show how it's installed now the save is a male character with all houses supported so that's gryffindor slytherin hufflepuff and ravenclaw uh, this character will be a max level 40 with max cash 987 of each attained resource to the bottom right we have 987 wiganwell potions under talents we have 987 talent points we also have all gear unlocked what you want to do go to the gear section hover over any item and press square to change appearance and on the right you will have all of the appearances under collections let's go to the map and as you can see we have all full flame travel points unlocked in the game finally we have all spells unlocked as you can see right here we do have avada cadavra which is a late game spell we can actually go ahead and use it right now and yeah guys that's about it all right so now i'm gonna show you guys how to resign the saves i've placed all four files in a zip file so you want to download the file to your computer and once you got the file open save wizard and as you all know i am ocd my usb is always empty we're going to hit the resign tab navigate to the zip file on our computer now you'll see four files which represents four houses you can download the one you want i'll have them tagged in the video i am actually going to resign each of these files so let's select the file hit import then select the profile and hit apply Once you're done, all the files should be on your USB, ready for transport back to your console. We're going to be using our saves on a profile with no trace of the game Hogwarts Legacy. Go to settings, save the data game app settings, save the data PS4. Of course, make sure your flash drive is plugged in and copy the files to console storage. load the game and everything should work if you want to transfer the file to ps5 close the game on the ps4 version and start the ps5 version you will get this pop-up compatible ps4 console save data detected you can accept here or do it later i'm just going to go ahead hit x go to the top and hit square once again and all your files should be here all right guys so that's about it for today's video do remember this is a day one save file if there are any bugs please hit us up on our discord and let us know also don't forget more files will be coming and custom options are available on our discord i want to thank you guys for all the support and i'll see you in the next one